Galaxy Tab SA Ultra has been my favorite purchase this year without question. For someone like me who's used to buying Apple products all the time, I'm shocked at how good the Tab SA Ultra is, but good is not enough. How do we make this Tab SA Ultra great? We do that with top quality accessories. I'm Alex and I do down to earth tech videos. I think it's a real shame that the most established accessory manufacturers don't really seem to be paying too much attention to the Tab SA Ultra. But in the last few months, I managed to find a handful of great accessories. So I thought I'd put this video together for you. Starting with the stands, one of the greatest things about the Tab SA Ultra is Samsung DeX. 100% the most underrated feature. Apple are trying to bring something like this to the iPad with Stage Manager, kind of copying it in a way. But my first impression of that is it's not as good. The downside of DeX though, on a tablet this size, is that you have to prop it up somehow. I have been using this, which is the Satechi USB-C hub, which is basically for the iPad. And I purchased a few from Amazon as well, just to see what would work. If all you're gonna do is prop it up and you're not gonna be touching the screen on the tablet, then something like this, this is the Ugreen or the Mint House, where is that? The Mint House is this one here. Something like this would help. These are both same sort of design, they fold up, they're quite sturdy. But the minute you put the Tab SA Ultra on this and you start touching the screen, it starts to want to kind of topple over. But just for propping it up and using DeX maybe with a keyboard and mouse, these will be absolutely perfect for that. They can also be good options for you to put in the kitchen or you know maybe on your desk to watch content or even to use DeX, like I said. To make the most use of the tablet though, including using the S Pen and Touch, my recommendation would be the Lululuk Magnetic Stand. Funny name, but yeah. This was specially made for the Tab SA Ultra. This is the stand that I've been waiting for for all these months. It's a solid piece of aluminum. Aluminum? <laughs> it's a solid piece of aluminum, really top quality hinges, and very sturdy when you're using it. No, it doesn't really move a lot. I also found this option, which is quite an interesting one. I did use it for a while and it's still in, in, the, in the studio here, but aesthetically speaking, is not the best looking, right? But if you're a musician, for example, this sort of stand is fantastic because you can have it in front of your instrument and you can elevate the tablet to your eye level. Perfect for kind of following music. Same in the kitchen, if you're following a recipe again, really useful for those situations. Okay, I refuse to pay all that money that Samsung wants for the keyboard and cover, even though it looks nice and some people actually gave good feedback on it. I just don't think $350 for it is fair. So when it comes to my mouse and keyboard of choice, I went with Logitech. This is the brand new Logitech MX Master 3S mouse. Honestly, you're only seeing this take now, but it took me about 10 goes to say this. I really like how Logitech didn't go crazy with changing the previous design, but they still improved it in every area. The wheel feels really nice to scroll. The, the click is really satisfying. They've got this thing now called quiet click or something. It has a much higher sensitivity now as well which allows this to be used even on glass surfaces, as long as the glass is like four millimeters thick. So it's gonna be great not just to use with the tablet, but as my main mouse and keyboard. The keyboard is the Logitech Craft over here. Uh, is also a delight to use. I've reviewed this before on the channel. The battery on this thing seems to last forever. I don't remember last time I charged and it just keeps going and going, despite it being backlit. And like the MX 3S, you can connect it to three devices and changing via Bluetooth is very easy. Switching is a breeze. If one display is not enough, you know, I mentioned DeX earlier and this solution here is a fantastic option for using DeX. This is a portable external monitor. I'm doing a separate review on this because you can game with it. You know, you can pair it with a laptop, but I found that it works perfectly for Samsung DeX. I wrote this script, by the way, no one told me to say this, but <laughs> I'm saying, Unleash the power of mobility with multitasking power of DeX. Yeah, anyway, it's extremely thin, great battery life. They have different models as well. This is their 1080p model, 15.6 inch. It's fantastic. It comes with a protective case as well, which doubles up as the actual stand for it. And as you can see here, it allows you to use it in vertical or horizontal mode. Really good for pairing with DeX. Like I said, I'll be doing a full review on this, testing the gaming aspect and things like that but spoiler alert, it's worth every penny and I wish I had gone for this sooner. Now with great mobility comes the need for more power. Well, that's not how it goes. How's it go? 
Never mind. If you're gonna be putting this device through its paces all day long, maybe you get the 5G version whenever that's available, or you're traveling and you want something that is able to charge not only the tablet, but other devices as well, I have three great options here for you. This is the nuclear option, 25,600 milliamps. Yes, that is the equivalent of five iPhone 13 Pro Max batteries. This is the Storm 2, what's called Storm 2 Liquid by Shargeek. I hope I'm pronouncing this right. It's so good, I'm scared of it. And not gonna lie, I went for it because it just looks awesome. It came really well packaged with top quality cables as well, as you can see here. Easy to find too, in this color. This is gonna be really useful for long trips. So if you're traveling, going hiking and things like that. And if you don't want that nuclear option, they also have this powerful 100 watt version with three USB-C ports and shows a US plug here, but it also has a UK. It comes with all sorts of adapters for this. It does come with three USB-C ports, two of those being a 100 watt output, and the third one, as well as a normal kind of USB type A port with an output of 22.5 watts. What I like about this one is that it's a GAN charger. If you don't know what this means, it's in simple terms, it generates less heat. What's this button doing? Explodes. It has this really nice and bright display. Here's an LCD display, which shows everything that you wanna know, you know, the device that you're charging how much power is being drawn and how much battery you've got left, which is useful. But yeah, it just looks amazing. It's airline safe as well, which is important, right? You think that something this big and this powerful would not be allowed in, a, in an airplane. I'm so impressed with this one. Another favorite of mine is this one here from Anchor. This is the PowerCore 3. It's not the biggest or the most powerful from Anchor. It's kind of a mid-range option, very good value for money as well. 19,000 milliamp battery, this one. It's kind of a nuclear option as well, but not as nuclear as this guy, right? This one is a, it's a big mama. The Anchor will power your Tab SA Ultra and laptops and phones, you know, if you're carrying those as well. Um, by the way, if you spotted an app I'm using here or you want to know more about something that I'm reviewing here, you have a question, please do leave a comment. I'm still managing to reply to everybody. Uh, might take a day or two but I get to learn a lot from you as well, from that interaction with you. That's what's important. I'm building not just a channel for myself here. It's, I like to think that this is a community as well. So while you're down there, don't forget to subscribe and like this video because YouTube, you know, sometimes they're not the best at recommending this video to, to the wider audience. And if you like my stuff, it would be awesome if you subscribed. I'm here at least once a week with a new tech video for you. Not always Tab SA Ultra related, granted, but I'm not returning this device, so it will feature again in the channel. And even if you already subscribed, that makes you a certified legend, first of all, but please do give this, uh, this video a thumbs up as well because it does help. Something else you might wanna consider when you get the Tab SA Ultra is storage. Unlike the iPad, you can add SD cards and extend the storage of the Tab SA Ultra. I'm sure you already know that. But if you're looking for a more complete solution, I strongly recommend this guy here. This is the 10 in 1 Acasis Hub. It looks like a hub, but check this out. When you open it, it has this nice hidden compartment here for SSD storage, which transforms this already incredible hub, it's got loads of ports here, into an SSD enclosure. And when you pair this with an M2 NVMe storage, like, like I've done here, this is a, just a two terabyte one, but you can go up to eight terabytes of storage. Incredible, right? And it does support SATA storage as well. I use this with everything. And if you've watched my recent videos, you're probably fed up with me <laughs> recommending this thing, but I'm genuinely impressed about this. It's a really good device. But more importantly, how do I use it with the Tab SA Ultra? Here's an example. I love being able to take a quick picture with my proper camera in the highest possible quality, then uploading that to the tablet, taking advantage of this beautiful display to then kind of loading up in Lightroom or Photoshop, which is so easy when you're editing with the S Pen as well. But what makes this workflow such a pleasure is the fact that I can access high quality images and videos using this, transferring them between my MacBook Pro sometimes, between my camera, between any device that I've got, without having to reformat anything very quickly because of this hub. So this hub became my, my central universe for all my devices. I have done a full review of it a few days ago, so I'll leave a link down below for you. There's many more videos about the Tab SA Ultra here on the channel, so check this playlist I've done here for you. And YouTube, bless them, they think that you're gonna like this video over here. They could be right, who knows? There's, there's a chance. <laughs> I hope to see you there.